I've changed a lot of my plans since this was filmed, but since this video captures the spirit of what I'd like to do, I decided to keep it. Changes will be marked with a and accompanying text on the screen. Believe it or not, I used to dress like this all the time. Hello, friends. It has recently come to my attention that I don't like my clothes. When I have a day off, I wake up in the morning and think, good, I can wear whatever I like because I don't have to go to work and nothing in my closet excites me. Therefore, I have since decided that I am going to put together a whole new wardrobe. I have further decided that I am going to make a whole new wardrobe. I realize that this is a daunting task, particularly because I don't know how to sew very well and have never, in fact, finished an entire garment. And that will be addressed. <laughs> so, let's make a goal. Let's start with, what do I want? Well, I want a new wardrobe. So, how is that defined? In looking it up online, there is no clear definition of a wardrobe or anybody's advice on how many clothes you should actually have. It depends on how often you do laundry and the weather where you live. If you live someplace warm, you don't need as many clothes because the weather doesn't change throughout the year. I live someplace cold. We are actually in the middle of a blizzard as we speak. So I will definitely need more clothing than somebody who lives in Florida. The plan. Step one, get rid of the clothing that I have that I don't wear or don't want to wear. I'm actually in the process of doing this. I took one bag already to the thrift store and I'm working on another box. Reason being, the first time I went through, there were some things I kept just because I wear them, but I don't like them. And there were other things that were in the laundry so they're going. I know I will have at least one more box, possibly two, because there are clothes that I thought, oh, but this looks so lovely. I promise I'll wear it this time. So I gave myself a couple of weeks. If I don't wear it, off it goes. The next step will be to fix clothing. Some of the clothes that I have are in dire need of some repairs. There are just little openings or places where the seams ripped there. But to be honest, I'm not sure that this dress is going to make the final cut. The third step, which will be in the same realm of the second step, is to repurpose clothing. Some of the clothes I have, I have ideas for what they could be. And therefore I am taking a pair of pants that I have and turning it into a skirt and a skirt that I have, and turning it into a lovely gown. We will see where these projects end up. Hopefully, it works out for everybody. From there, I plan to do one project each month, totaling, in order, four skirts, because skirts are like the easiest thing to make, four shirts, and four dresses. Why no pants, you say? I, I have enough pants. I, I have all the pants I need or want, so I'm good there. It's mostly skirts and dresses. I want to make clothing that I'm proud of, clothing that excites me, clothing that reveals the fantastical and dramatic nature that I have welling within me. Mostly I just want to look like a princess all the time, every day. Once I have completed this task, which will take just over one year, I will reassess what I want to keep and what else I wish to make. Getting rid of clothing shall be an ongoing part of this process. As I make more clothing, there will be other articles of clothing that I am okay with parting with. As for right now, I need those articles of clothing to wear. 
because being naked is illegal and uncomfortable. So I start my journey. Today is January 31st. Tomorrow is February. And I begin with fixing and repurposing the articles of clothing that I already have and plan to keep. Among this, I may also venture into the two dresses that are upstairs in mid-project. I say mid, but the one is very nearly done. It just needs to be lined and hemmed. That's it. If I stick pins in it, I can wear it. Once I have finished those projects, I will have to decide whether I want to keep them or not. Probably not. Starting in March, I will start with my first skirt, which will be a circle skirt, because it is the easiest and flowiest skirt to make. I realize in looking at my schedule that you are probably seeing this somewhere around April 3rd, if I stick to the schedule, which I haven't so far, with anything. But if I stick to the schedule, you will see this April 3rd, and by then I should have fixed and repurposed all of my clothes that I had, finished my UFOs, and worked on the circle skirt, hopefully to completion. I should be well on my way to my second skirt, and who knows what that will be. It will be exciting, for sure. So stay tuned, subscribe for more content, like and comment down below, and be sure to wish me a good measure of luck. Until next time.